Proust's Maths. This is where we take a look back at what we were doing in Maths lessons last week. And uh, last week it was core one straight lines. So, the things that you need to remember about the straight lines. What should be on your poster? Well, um, if we want to know the length of a straight line, a, b, then that comes from Pythagoras theorem. This will be the square root of the change in x squared plus the change in y squared. We also need to know about the midpoint, the coordinate of the point halfway in between two points. And then you take the average of the x coordinates and the average of the y values. So x1 plus x2 over 2, y1 plus y2 over 2. What else do we need to know? Um, well, there's the gradient of a straight line. We're going to talk a lot more about gradients in a couple of weeks' time. But the gradient of the line AB, the straight line AB, would be the increase in y, so y2 minus y1, divided by the increase in x, x2 minus x1. If we know some of these key facts, then we can start to think about equations of straight lines. If we have a straight line passing through the point with coordinates x1, y1, with gradient m, then the equation of that straight line is got by using the nice little formula y minus y1 is m x minus x1. There we go. Um, we would normally be expected to give our equations a straight line in the form ax plus by plus c equals zero. Um, if we rearrange it, we get it back to the form, you'll remember this from GCSE, if it's in the form y equals mx plus c, then of course m is the gradient, and c is the point where it crosses the y-axis, call it the y-intercept. So this would pass at a zero of C. One final thing. If two lines are perpendicular, if they're at right angles, then for perpendicular lines, the gradient of one times the gradient of the other gives you a result of negative one. Uh, this means that one line would be the negative reciprocal of the other. The gradient of one line would be the negative reciprocal of the other. This is the stuff that should be on your poster of uh, C1 straight lines. Uh, and if that's, that's all you've got, then that's a good start. And uh, what we're looking at now is very quickly an exam question on this. This is taken from a couple of years ago. Uh, it's just the first part of the question. The question says, find the gradient, part one, of the line L, which has equation x plus 2y equals 4. So we need to get it into that y equals mx plus c4. We'll take our equation. We'll rearrange it. Let's take x away from both sides. 2y is minus x plus 4. And divide by the 2, y equals minus a half x plus 2. So the gradient of this is, of course, minus a half. And then the front of x, which we get it in that form. OK, it can start. That was one mark. Part two. Find the equation of the line parallel to L passing through the point 6, 5. Giving your answer in the form AX plus BY plus C is zero. A, B and C have to be integers, whole numbers. We've got our gradient. So M is minus a half. It was parallel to this line. What else do we know? It passes through the point 6, 5. Okay. A moment ago we wrote down this, y minus y1 is m, x minus x1, so this is what we're using. y minus 5 is minus a half, x minus 6, the y value in there, the x value in there. We want to try and get integers, so we're going to double everything. 2y minus 10 is minus x minus 6. Now let's multiply out this bracket, collect terms together, minus, minus 6 would be plus 6. I think we wanted everything on the left hand side equal to 0, so let's finally rearrange it, x 
plus 2y minus 10, take by another 6, minus 16 equals 0. There is our equation. Um, just a little check, does the point 6, 5 lie on that line? x is 6 plus twice 5, and that'll be 16, take 16 is 0. We've done it. Yes. Okay. So that's it for straight lines. There are plenty more exam questions out there. Um, next week we're going on to the circle. It's about time we got round to it. And so uh, there'll be a little bit more on this next week. Remember to check out SharePoint for all sorts of uh, whiteboard notes. And these two slides from this today I'll put on there so that you can look at them alongside the video. Thanks for watching. Enjoy maths. <laughs>